We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. All right, now in the event you have a Pioneer radio and you want video while in motion, these are pretty popular nowadays. These are video bypass units. And the way that we use these specifically um, on these Pioneers is you need three wires to connect here. You have a ground, a power wire, and the parking brake wire. And these three wires really is all it takes to bypass the video restriction on a Pioneer radio. So keep in mind, this is, it provides a double pulse negative, what this needs. Um, other models like Alpine require something a little bit different. Kenwoods are beginning to, to come around too and they will need their bypass, but some of the older ones still you can ground out. Um, it kind of really depends on the radio. So this one, we're gonna get this wired in and we're gonna show you how to do so. Now, let's say you're doing a, a stereo install and you need to wire this in. You have your wiring harness adapter and your Pioneer radio. Well, what you need to do on your Pioneer radio harness side is we're gonna strip these ends and you're gonna grab your black wire and we just need to tap into the black wire. So we'll twist those together. And I like, I'm a crimp guy. Put a crimp in it, just like that. Then the other end will go to our wiring harness adapter. The green guy goes to our parking brake wire. And then the third end will go to our blue-white wire which is generally the amp turn-on wire, or it's an accessory wire. Just like that. The blue one, this will go, this connects into our wiring harness and so does the black. So we'll just zip tie that all in there and that'll bypass the video restriction on the radio. Pretty cool.